the rain is falling. The fans are soaked. But here's the bottom line. We've got football at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will Josh match Lambeau up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. And the return man, Chris Moore. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Moore on the return. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Yeah, yeah, we dominate that. This one goes Mark nowhere. Ingram, Losing yardage back at the 22. On the two yards, the loss, it's second loss and 12. Brings up okay, there's a tone 12. setter. First play from that's scrimmage. Stuff him in the backfield. Line. You know what they were doing last night in the hotel room? <laughs> Visualizing exactly <laughs> that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play. Having leverage. Lower than the what? offensive lineman. Getting into the offensive backfield. Knocking someone what? down. Just what you said. Setting the tone early for this game. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Bang, bang. First carry for the front of Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he's going to be stopped short of a first down as they'll get to him at about the 33. Call it a pickup of three and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Look at the It'll be 37 yards there on the park and the Jaguar. First down and 10. Yard line. Come on, Minshew going to lead up the Jaguars first and 10 at about the 32. He'll drop the throw. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And the Jaguar first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. You draw Crawford. Tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He's brought a good gain again. That's now 31 yard yards combined on those last two plays. Play. First down, Jacksonville.
Ready, ready. Back to back good plays have them on the move Bring on first down. down. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. <laughs> First carry now for Thompson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So back to back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the ball. They want to fire out. And the people across the line of scrimmage and they're clearing space. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16 yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it check, into positives check, moving forward. So the you. ball down to the you. 16 check here for first three. and 10. Check 31, check 31. Check three, check three. You. Closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. He's taken down. Credit it with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Deciding to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Still nine remaining on second down. too early it's going to be a pass interference call if he's too late it's a completed pass he was johnny on the spot on that one after an incomplete pass on second down that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine you Jackson from the shotgun. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Jackson. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They definitely got to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. Returnable here from the 38. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And, and that will come the offense as they take over. Line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And partner, let me make a quick pivot here. Season winding down. They're number 32 in offense this year. The last in the league. Where do they go? Anywhere and everywhere. But they have to do it with a plan. And I think about it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And this one will be returned to right around the 38 yard line. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Okay, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Let's go, D. Go. Shit. No, no, no. Off, off, off. Switch, switch. Hey, middle, middle, middle. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's it, Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they want to this game. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. It's third down and four. game. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Ready. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? That one you were throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Here's second and ten. Out of the gun is Minshew. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. And the this has to go down as one of the simpler down. routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Here we go. Set. 60 Pittsburgh. Hey, Charlie. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target. And now it's second down. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to write quickly. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, Minshew looking to throw. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, they've got man Marcus coverage on the outside, on the and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not yeah. zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Minshew going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off at the 25. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. The Ravens take over. Here we are in season season December, of giving, right? It is a season of giving. Line. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce 
and he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he throws. But coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Along with Ingram here to begin the drive. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So it's some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Failure to connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, Jackson. And that will be incomplete. And that's exactly what defense is talking about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see that they, they rely more on the ground game here. They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit, because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And he's wondering, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Got it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. I got it. 48, 48, Mike, 48, Mike. Oh, here we go. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Let's go, defense. Shotgun handoff. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Number 34. That's a really nice job He's by them picking up the run blitz and detecting line. it and blocking it and turning it into a nice play. run. And a and lot of times you think if you down. blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the gun, Minshew to throw. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So on fourth Josh down, Lambeau Jags kicker Josh Lambeau comes on from the left hash. This from 46. <laughs> This is just outside. 
inside the right upright. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the field a lot more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But that's the old adage, when you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. now second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. 47 to Mike, boy. 47. Check, check. 47. From the gun, it's Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Intended for Nick Boyle. Incomplete. Brings up third down and six yards to go. After the second down in completion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Jackson now. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter play. With more scoreless after one. Sam Cook on to punt for the Ravens. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 at their own 27. To Fournette to start the drive. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense really blew around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. Go the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Hey, 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 hey. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Come on, set. Ten Lobo. Hey, hey, tight end right. Watch tight end. Out, out, out. Now Minshew. And this one into the hands of D.J. Sharp. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. It's a gain of eight. Fired and that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and maybe an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard, your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Go, go. I got you. I got you, son. Here's Minshew. Looking long for Westbrook. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to have Minshew this in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. A 51-yard game. Well, even after all those interceptions, down, he's not Jaguars. deterred. Still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player ready, out ready. on the field. You still carry 70, that supreme Indy. arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? 
And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Second and ten. Ready? Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight end right. 61. Match box right. And he'll take this one down near the 15. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Jaguars on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Minshew sets to throw. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And Lambo will put this one through. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. A game like this, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and you're just looking for that big break to take you over the take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. set at the line for this next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's because too familiar of a refrain. Too many of guys just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Get off the field. Let's get it off. On second down, Ingram. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. 21, Mark Ingram. The, well, the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs. They don't foul away where they just saw from the defense right there. They sold down to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the gun, Jackson, and it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for catch and taken right near the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. At their own 31-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's corralled at the 40. But now before picking up eight. The ball carrier. You know what really fires up the offensive line? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Let's Eight go. yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Strong right. Strong right. You got three. Three down. Three down. Get it ready. Minshew with a give to Fournette. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. Now back to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And he will bring this back. It's 
It's a pick six yes. and a Raven touchdown. Pick six is starting to be old hat for Peters. He had three of these to lead the NFL in 2019, and he comes up with another here. And this is no good. He missed it. Not a good start here in the kicking department as this remains a 6-3 score. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. It's like to be better with the football on this position. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because this is exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Check, check. On second and ten, it's Minshew. He'll have a first down. That's the throw. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. A gain of 27 That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. This offense finding his legs now. Here's another first and ten. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and three. So I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we're going to mic the 48 right now. Let's go. Three bugs. Three bugs. Yeah. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. I hate to sound really negative, but at this point, an incomplete pass, almost a moral victory that it's not picked off. Well, you may hate to sound negative, but that was negative. It was very negative, I know, but all these first-half interceptions, it's been tough to watch. Yeah, I couldn't find a silver lining in this one, much more like low. Out of the gun now on third down. To find the QB and he gets to him there. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold them and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. A 41-yard punt, nine the on the return. And yeah, the Ravens will get it. First and ten from deep line. in their own territory. The Baltimore offense at the line set to 47. get going. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little mic. bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives go, have ended with him punting the Throw football me, away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers Throw at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and crash together a draft. A gain of six there on first. Six yard pickup. Nice up. rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, it's Ingram. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Yeah. Down at the 20 -yard line. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support. And I think and the way one. that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game. 
then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On third and one, Jackson. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let him get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now. And they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. A minute 55 left to go in the first half go of play. On, boys, go. Let's go. That's me, baby. Turn it up. Turn it up. Come on, a reminder six, once we six, hit halftime, as we do all six, six, season, we'll six, send it down five. to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 30 line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 39-yard line. Second and 12, operating from the 39. Tight end to the right, boys. Tight end to the right. Move. Three down, three down. Hey, pick up. Shoot. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Brought in here by Tyler Eisen. <laughs> and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Come on, the catch and run, good for 18 and a first a down. 18 on the play. You don't always First expect tight ends to be Jaguar. big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins hey, a growing hey, band of hey, players hey, that's putting that stereotype hey. right on its ear. Hey. Run on first down. Oh. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy the of the 30. Hey. Number 30 11 more easy. yards easy. that go around. A first down, down as well. Down. A gain of 11 on the play. And the Jaguar first down. Now Minshew on first and ten. Got his man. It's Eifert. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? At the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who throw it. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Check 48 to Mike. Check five. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that ball is caught by D.J. Chark for the Jags touchdown. To number 17, D.J. Chark. As the first half is winding down. And once again, the Jaguars are back out in front. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation. We try to get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. They'll get another shot at to start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thank you for this amount of time on the clock. Probably just sit on that. These two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish.
intercept the ball and get on out and talk about it. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. calling for more of the same the rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half and the third quarter will start with a touchback as that one lands in the end zone Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. When you've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done, they're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something Let's else. Four base. yards remain for second down. They'll run it again with four now. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. 28 yard line. back here on third. Hey, Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And Eichert has it. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Jaguars. Here we go, here we go. 18, Gator. Watch the safety creep. Hey, hey, high seven. Minshew, first and 10. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now hey, is second box, and ten. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Touchdown, Jaguars! Pass Chris Thompson with touchdown Brown, number Jack seven Brown. of the year. Just and the Jaguars had six to their lead. But he's used to running at that distance here. He had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can Josh run it Lambeau and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Moore now on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. On the keeper. Other teams oh, yeah. just go, okay, Yannick these are the Gokwe sequence of plays we tackle. want to run. These things worked well tackle for us. And sometimes the they throw in that line. big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve.
13 yards remaining on second down. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Operating from the gun. Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 47 yards. First and Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and 10 just outside the 30. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Jack, you get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. It's up, it's up, hey, it's up. It's up. 44, 44, Mike, Mike. To throw again, Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty Jackson good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Another attempt, Brings another incompletion. Down. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. He can run for it. He will. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. Give him a gain of six on the keeper, but it still brings up four. It's fourth down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And Tucker missed it left. Normally reliable, this time no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Brings up second From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Ready? An 94. incomplete pass on first down. Close, that leads to a second and ten. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Two. There, complete to Westbrook. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A gain of 10 brings up third and inches. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. Minshew. The man is shark. It's complete. And taking Minshew it across pass. midfield and just shy of the 40. Shark. Defense was expecting run and they're dealt a pass of over 15 and the yards. Jaguar first down. Come on, set. So in eight, Raven three. territory now. Here's a first and ten at the 41. Squeeze. Yeah, yeah. Hey, exit. General West. It'll be Minshew again. And he'll get it to Florida complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been yeah, on it, and he picked up another first three. down there. So jump. the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Oh, first down. 
It's Thompson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Number 34. Back to back Murray. nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Partner, if you first want more carries, I think we saw how you get the them. Yard Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the ready, football. Ready, ready. Hey, we're going right to the 48 right now. Let's go. Don't get nervous. Check 48 the mic. Check 48 the mic. Check 48 the mic. <laughs> Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. And he's going to go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. Derek Wolf dumping in for the sack. Second goal. Last thing you need to do is get pushed back. There's to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. And a big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Watch the crowd. Watch the crowd. Matchbox Here's Fournette. Call it no gain on the play, so no help there. And now fourth and goal. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Josh, Josh Lambeau, Lambeau now for the Jaguar field, field goal. goal. A 30 yard attempt. The kick by Lambeau is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So the drive stalls out inside the 15 yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. More now to return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Chris Moore on the return. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. 